Today I'll be showing you guys how to make a custom loading screen in your Roblox game. Before we get started, if this video does help you out, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. So to get started, we're going to want to go over to Starter GUI, hover over it, and click on the plus button. Then you're going to want to add in a screen GUI. This is where we're going to put all of our user interface for the loading screen. Next, you want to click the plus button next to the screen GUI and add in a frame. This frame is what's going to be covering the player's screen while the game is loading. Right now it's only 100 by 100 pixels, so we're going to need to make it bigger. So you can do that by scrolling down to size in the properties menu while selecting the frame. And instead of using pixels, which is the second number in each set of brackets, we're going to use scale, which is the first number in each set of brackets. And just set it to 1, so it'll take up the entire x-axis of the screen. And also set it to 1 here, so we take up the entire y-axis. So you'll see now that we have white covering our entire screen. There's one last thing we have to cover though, and that's the little bit of screen at the very top where stuff like the Roblox menu and chat icon are. So we're going to want to add in another frame inside of this frame. Then you'll just want to scale it up to take up the entire screen again, except this time we're going to change the position. Position works very similar to size, of course, instead it'll change the position, but stuff like pixels and scale work in the same exact ratio. All we need to do is change the scale of the y-axis to negative 1 and it will be directly on top of our white frame in our screen view. Then I'm very quickly just going to make it so the color is black so it looks kind of nice. You can just do that by going to the background color 3 and setting it to 0, 0, 0. Right now we can't see that frame because we're just in studio view, but when we're playtesting you'll be able to see it. One last thing for the UI is that we're going to add in a text label that says loading. So you just want to click on the plus button on our first frame, add in a text label, and then make it take up the entire x-axis, and then probably just about half of the y-axis. And you can just do this by setting the y scale to 0.5 instead of 1. I'm going to position it down halfway, so about 0.25. So there's going to be 0.25 scale of on this part of the screen and 0.25 on this side, so it's completely centered. If you just scroll down a bit more, you'll see a property called text scaled, which you're going to want to set to true so that the text is sized properly. Then you also want to set the text to loading. And then you're also going to want to set the background transparency to 1, just in case you want to recolor the main frame that's covering the entire screen. Alright, so that's great. However, whenever a player joins in, there's going to be a certain load order, and this UI might not load in right away. So instead, we're going to have to use Replicated First, which is kind of the load priority queue for a game's loading process. But first off, we're also going to have to have a local script in there that will insert the loading GUI into the player's UI. So in Replicated First, let's add in a local script and then drag in the screen GUI. Inside the script, we're just going to need to define two things. First off is our GUI, which is just going to be script and then wait for child because we want to wait for the child to load in screen GUI. Then we're also going to define our player as local PLR equals game.players, which will get this part of the explorer right here. And then just get our local player because this is a local script. Now we have to parent, which is basically what an object is inside of, to the player's UI. So all we have to do is set GUI.parent equal to PLR.player GUI. We also now want to remove the default loading screen. So we can do script.parent, which will get our replicated first section, which is actually what manages the loading screen. And then all we have to do is colon remove default loading screen. Now we have to determine how much time it takes for the loading screen to go away. Now there's two things we're going to do for this. First off, we're going to have a repeat loop. That's going to loop every half second until the game is loaded. Now, if a game loads really quick, someone might not see the loading screen and you might want them to see it. So, I'm just going to do a wait 5 and that should be all good. Now, we can remove the loading screen from the player's UI. However, we're going to animate it so it looks extra fancy. All you have to do is GUI.frame, which will get the frame right here, and then tween position. And then we want to ha provide our new position, which will be a udem2 value. And we're going to make a new udem2 value. We're then just going to set 
our y scale to negative 1.5 so it's tweened up out of the screen. Then I'm going to make the easing direction in and out so it kind of speeds up and slows down evenly and make the easing style quadratic and lastly make the easing time one second. We can wait the one second and then after that all we have to do is destroy the GUI. Alright so now we hit play. You can see it says loading and then it goes away. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Me.